Stay put soldering jig holding in a perfect arc coming into the connector with these uh, connectors mounted in the vise. The vise, of course, does have the V-groove, so it makes it very easy to hold these connectors. And you can see how we have all of the tin braided copper bottomed out. This connector has already been tinned internally, and these are uh, tin copper already, but they're very thick. So being they're very thick, we need a strong soldering iron. When I say strong, lots of watts. And again, this Weller is designed for more industrial soldering. Now, I actually built this tip because I needed more heat, okay? And this is just copper bar, more or less. And once again, I just folded it over in the vise carefully, and you can see you can make your own tips. So if you guys are serious about learning uh, different soldering methods, this is something you can do yourself. You can see the lights come on, and this unit is highly uh, ready to go as far as being active right now. So what I'm going to do is take the Kesta 186 flux and do the same thing. We're going to saturate this and I'm going to drop beads on both ends. So you can see we've got a pocket here and we're just going to hit this carefully. Let it just fill. Okay. Once it starts dripping over onto my mat, I know I'm golden, I'm saturated and I'm ready to go. Now I just need proper heat. Now I cut the piece of solder this is Kester number 44, and I cut this approximately six to eight inches, and what I'll do is I'll feed this so that I'll get the proper beating, and what's gonna happen, because I'm using the proper flux, is you'll see that solder go in, and as the heat penetrates, you'll see the wicking action where it'll just level. So first side I'm gonna hit is this side, and I don't know if she can get that so easy. I'll let her get in position. And what I'm gonna do is take the iron and just heat right here and put it right in that groove. You can hear it, and now we're just filling. Let that heat up, and I'm just going to stop filling for a second. Now I'll fill again. Let this go. What you're going to see is that solder will wick itself right in as it gets hot enough, and it will penetrate. Go. Just holding the iron there, no pressure. Okay, and there you go. You can see right here that is perfectly filled. We'll let it cool for a second. I'm now going to tack the other side, and this has been totally filled up with solder. And come on this side, do the same thing. 